dentist because uh, something else is going on. How long did it take before people commented on your gains and noticed that you lifted? This is a fun question. Um, so a lot of this is going to depend on what you're starting from. You know, if you have a background in athletics, but maybe you just gained some weight and you're a little flabby over that, um, the time frame at, to which you can transition to a better looking physique is probably going to be faster because you already have accumulated muscle mass. In my case, I had 0.0, .0 muscle mass. I was 125 pounds when I started. So the rate at which you can accumulate muscle that then changes how your body appears to others is very slow. It's like one pound a month. And that's dramatically optimized. Like you are doing all your training, right? You're hitting every single single calorie and gram of protein that you need your supplementation is on point your hydration is on point your training is on point if you're doing all of that you're going to be awarded with one pound of lean muscle mass per month and that's for you to enjoy in the newbie stages you know so about 12 pounds of lean muscle per year but that dramatically drops off after your uh, year four is when it dramatically drops off it slows down with each passing year so maybe Year two, you can probably still get 10 to 12 pounds. Year three, you might only see eight pounds. Year four, you might see five to eight pounds. Year five, that's where most people agree and most empirical research shows that four years of consistent lifting, consistent dieting is where most people reach their natural maximum of lean muscle mass. Ah. <sighs> So I answered a lot of questions in that one because a lot of people think like, well, how much, a lot of people ask, how much muscle can I expect to gain and how fast? And what is the limit to how much muscle I can gain? Um, but so for me, how it worked was I was 145, 150 pounds, skinny fat, um, dad bod, you know, flabby boobs, nowhere near abs um, at 5'9". And the first thing I did was crash dieted all the way down to 125 pounds because I thought having abs was the thing that made it a great physique. Like every great physique you look at obviously has a nice six pack. So I thought that was kind of like the thing that made the entire package. And so that's the first thing I did was got abs and that required me dieting all the way down to 125 pounds. So I'm sitting here walking around at a body weight less than most adult females so for it's good to have a relative comparison of the average population to where you are and you know be objective i had a hard time being objective when i was beginning because i thought now that i have these abs i have a great physique and this is funny because the question is how long did it take before people commented on your gains well one of the first comments i ever got about how my body had changed was from a coworker a female who said, if I got any thinner, I would blow away in the wind. Which you got to think about that, because I was sitting there like super excited, like, hell yeah, man, I'm finally in good shape. I got these abs, like I'm thinking I'm Brad Pitt in Fight Club. And I got the opposite feedback in, you know, from females, which is typically the reason why men, one of the main reasons why men are motivated to change their body is to hopefully be more attractive to the other sex. Like, we're not going to deny that. Um, and so when, when the first amount of feedback I got was that I probably didn't look better, if anything, I may look worse, less attractive to women sitting there looking like an emaciated distance runner. And that's what I looked like, like one of those guys who runs a, a three and a half minute mile, but definitely not a guy who is muscular, masculine, um, high testosterone, you know, like this, especially if you're talking about bodybuilding and have an interest in aesthetics as the Ziz movement, Z's movement, um, popularized. If, if aesthetics is your goal, you're going to need a lot more than just a six pack. Because like I said, you can look at people who are just malnourished and they'll have a six pack and they are not attractive. Um, so the, to answer the rest of that question, you know, it only took about three or four months of that crash dieting for people to notice my, the change in my body. Because I had dropped, you know, 25 pounds of fat or something like that. But <laughs> that's not really no them noticing my gains. That's them noticing 
um, that I was probably malnourished. I mean, that's just, just just the truth. So, in terms of actually, how long did it take for me to accumulate enough muscle for other people to comment it, comment on it, and be like, "Oh yeah, clearly that guy lifts." It actually took me probably two years. And I know that's not the answer that a lot of people want to hear. Like they want to hear that they hit the weights for three months and then everybody's going to be talking about how jacked they got all their friends and the people at school are going to be like, man, did you see so-and-so blow up? That's not going to happen in three months. I'm sorry. Um, it's just not, I mentioned earlier, the rate at which you can accumulate lean muscle mass is about a pound per month. That's just what you can expect. Now, while bulking, you'll put on more than one pound a month because you'll be adding water weight and fat at the same time. But bulking and cutting is a whole other subject we'll get into many times, I'm sure, on this show. All right, we'll, we'll talk about one more popular question. What do we have here?